Good morning. So we've just listed this 2021 Beneteau Swift Trawler 35 for sale on brokerage. I'm really excited to show you this boat. It's got some really awesome um, options and features. Um, so just even here on the starboard side, you can see uh, immediately that there's a gate in the bulwark. So that's really easy access um, on and off the boat. And that's basically pontoon level as well. Um, being a semi-displacement boat, uh, you have a, a larger beam than you would of a, a planing hull. So we've got an amazing flybridge up top, which we'll go have a look at later. And you can even see here, we've got a huge patio door on the starboard side. And that gives us a great entry straight onto the helm. Um, Beneteau have done this quite nicely with asymmetric decks, um, side decks. So on the port side, you can still go down the port side, um, but on the starboard side, it's flat all the way up to the helm and really easy walkway access straight through. So this is really your favorite side deck for mooring up um, along the pontoon. So join me in the cockpit and we'll have a look what's back there. So just walking into the cockpit, what we actually have on the side deck, because it's quite a large side deck, we have a wind door here that locks into position. And that's really good for when you're having lunch at anchor and you don't have uh, gust kind of funneling through. So it's nice to have that just there. Um, to notice as an option, this boat's been fully kitted out with teak decks on the starboard side and the cockpit. Um, and as we come walking round, as you can see, as its major feature on the stern, uh, the transom has these bifolding doors. Um, so three doors that enclose the transom um, as a gate, or you can fully open it up, which is fantastic. And these, these are an option as well to have these seats. So you can put the dining table out here get plenty of people around the dining table for lunch. And what that does really is open up the whole cockpit. As you can see, it just flows very naturally. This, the stairs to the flybridge as well, they um, fold up really easily. And you can fasten that into position. So um, just super easy to walk around. Um, very well thought out cockpit. Um, also to notice, uh, we do have these telescopic davits um, just here, and that's for the dinghy that you can place on the, on the swimming platform. And these lock into position with a the pin, they go all the way up, um, and they also hide away, so you don't really notice them that much actually. Um, walking around to the port side of the, the cockpit, we do have a little seating area just here, and we've got various cup holders around, which is really good to see. Um, and of course we do have the side deck down the port side, which is uh, slightly smaller obviously than the starboard, but very easy to get onto. And we also have the gas locker midships down there. Before we go into the saloon, um, let's have a look at this huge uh, lazarette locker in the cockpit. So you've got the door on gas struts, very easy. And then down here, you can just see various miscellaneous items of chairs, um, deflated paddleboard and things like that. Um, and also this cockpit does have a full enclosure as well. So that's an easy place to store it which is nice. So just before you join me into the saloon, um, notice these huge patio doors, very similar to the one on the starboard side. It's on a trifold, so it opens all the way back just behind this ladder here. So it makes the saloon a massive um, opening area. Just as we enter, we've got a, a double sofa with a TV and this double sofa does actually convert into a, a bed. Um, and it's gone for the option, the owner's gone for the option of the curtain that actually encloses this into a, a third cabin in effect, which is great. Um, so it's a very versatile boat. You can sleep lots of people if you need to. This table as well converts into a nice dining table um, that you can put outside like I showed earlier. But it's a neat little feature just to turn that into a proper dining table for six people if you need to. That's really nice to see. So if you join me further, plenty of storage underneath um, the, the TV. We've got an opening window on the port side, as well as that huge patio door on the starboard, which I mentioned. So the galley here on the port side, um, it does wrap around nicely. Cute little feature as well is this little um, seat here, which is kind of a perch. You can turn that into a kind of a third person to sit here um, while you're steaming ahead. So it's nice that they thought of that to try and incorporate as many people as possible for when you're steaming. And we've got a gas burner stove just here. Um, gas oven below, got the bin um, just there beneath the seat, cutlery, some storage and a two, two stainless sink. But plenty of little areas just to store your bits and bobs, nice uh, storage area down there as well. Um, so they've thought of how to use the space really well, lots of little areas that you can kind of make use of which is nice. And the fridge, of course, um, it's just below the helm seat um, and that's got a freezer compartment as well. And there's actually an additional little drinks fridge up on the flybridge, which we'll look at later. 
So joining me on the helm, um, so we've got this double um, seat, um, which is very nice. It, it's got a bolster seat. It also slides forward very easily into various positions. So if you wanted to stand up when you're helming, very comfortable. And then equally put the bolster down and you can sit and it's uh, yeah, very comfortable. And of course, you've got this huge patio door, which makes it all feel very open. And what I quite like about the Swift Trawlers is it's got this actual kind of ship wheel. So it's huge. It's not like uh, these kind of small ones you'd have on the planing um, speed boats. You feel like you're manning a proper ship, which is quite nice. Um, talk about the engine. So we're running a Cummins um, diesel engine. It's a conventional shaft with a rudder. It's a 6.7 litre six cylinder engine. Um, and because we're on a semi-displacement boat, as mentioned earlier, so you can get on the plane, you can go about 19 knots if you want to, um, but equally, if you wanted to go way down to eight knots, that's its displacement speed, and you're only using about 11, et uh, 11 liters an hour, which is really nothing for this kind of size boat. So you've got such very various um, options of how you'd like to use this boat, which is great. Um, in terms of Navionics, obviously being only you know, several months old, this boat, it has kind of state-of-the-art Raymarine equipment, so we've got an auto helm here, just at arm's reach. And of course your hybrid touch Raymarine Axiom plotter. So we have sonar as well as radar. Um, and I've just put the duo screen on just now, just so you can see um, what we've got. But you can obviously go back and you can choose all these options here, of chart radar, fish finder, etc. cetera. Um, VHF just below on the starboard. And of course, massive um, bonus to this boat because we're on a single prop. Um, Bow thrust is actually standard on these swift trawlers, whereas the stand thrust is an option which they've gone for. So um, super easy to handle in kind of tight maneuvering spots. You know, with your single engine, you can kind of turn it on an axis if you need to. Um, electric windlass, which we've got um, a monitor for. Um, but yeah, super nice helm, really easy. And um, with the bolster seat, sliding seat, and the patio door, of course, to kind of, even if you're single-handed, you can kind of moor the boat up and you can just get straight onto the pontoon like that. I mean, it doesn't get much easier, really. So, yeah, what, what an awesome helm by Beneteau. Um, let's go down below into the accommodation and see what cabins we have. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so you get alerted each time we upload any video, not just broker walkthroughs. And if you can like the video, it really helps our channel as well. So just here on the port side, down on the lower deck, we do have um, the twin berth, um, it's there on bunks, which is really nice. Um, plenty of space, very comfortable for children or even adults if you need to. Got a couple of opening portholes, so it doesn't feel dark. Um, but yeah, great space, even if you don't use them as berths, you can put loads of storage, life jackets, toys, whatever you need there. So great to have that as a second cabin. On the starboard side, just opposite, we do have a very generous um, head. So very big sink and a nice um, uh, electric flush loose. Um, with a shower as well, which is great. And then just forward, we do have the double island berth, um, and it's very bright in here. We've got opening hatch, sea views through very big windows. Um, yeah, very light and airy place to be, especially with this um, interior woodwork of the Alpi Oak. So it kind of lifts everything up, which is great. And a nice feature as well on this forward cabin is it does have a split opening forward door. So what that means is you don't have uh, the door blocking one side of the bed so it's just really very ergonomic boat and um, they make great use of the space that it is um join me on the flybridge let's go have a look what's up there so we're up on the flybridge and as you can see this is a huge space um for a 35 foot boat you would never think that um on a planing hull this would be equivalent to probably a, a 45 43 foot boat um, so yeah, fantastic space um, on the semi-displacement boat. Uh, you can see there's a, a large space just aft next to the staircase, um, and this is quite useful for kind of bicycles or paddle boards, that kind of thing, um, or even sun lounges if you want it, even though we have a sun lounger on the bow. But yeah, it's a really nice space to work with if you need it. Um, the staircase, when we walked up, you can actually um, close this hatch as well um, and walk on it as well. So, you know, it's quite safe if you've got kids up here, that kind of thing, so yeah. Um, so everything's very ergonomic. We've also got these Dodgers in a kind of custom teal turquoise colour. Looks beautiful and in fantastic condition. I mean, it looks like a brand new boat with all its equipment as well. Um, of course, just on the middle here, we do have this very um, large stainless steel radar frame. So we've got the radar, of course, the quantum radar with a steaming light and your kind of VHF and antenna um, just there. 
And attached to it, we do have in this sock, this is the bimini. So it's the sunshade bimini that will extend, you know, probably about as far as this. Um, so it's fantastic when it's a really hot day and you want to have lunch at kind of a cooler temperature. It's a very nice option to have that on this kind of flybridge as well, because it's so big. Um, and of course, we've got this very lovely seating area in this kind of gray upholstery. Just below this sofa here, we do have um, the drinks fridge. So that's really easy to use, especially when you're sat right next to it. You don't have to go down into the galley to get your drinks. And just to remind yourself that this is a 35 foot boat. I mean, this is a huge flybridge, you know, what it offers for such a kind of shorter boat than you'd expect. Lovely tabletop teak table that kind of folds just so you can get to the helm position. Got some cup holders there. I mean, it just, it's a very comfortable place to be. Um, um, and of course this helm just here. Um, so we do have a bolster helm seat um, and it can slide forward and backwards, which is great. But pretty much everything replicated that we had down on the lower helm. So we do have the same Raymarine uh, Axiom nine inch plotter hybrid touch so we've got the sonar as you can see in the plotter going at the moment auto helm just here anchor control um, you know your engine dials the fuel rudder angle thrusters trim tabs we didn't mention that earlier so does the boat is equipped with those of course um, to help balance the boat um, and then of course uh, your engine throttle one thing i didn't mention earlier is the fusion stereo speaker system so that's kind of state-of-the-art um, media device that you can connect all your kind of you know phones to um, very easy to do that and of course the radio and we have controls uh, up and below as well as in the cabins as well which is great um, another option uh, the boat is equipped with is the diesel heating system so it runs off the diesel tank and it's fantastic for the winter uh, it gets it really nice and warm um, but that concludes the walkthrough video of this Beneteau Swift Trawler 35 um, called Bridgetown it's a beautiful example almost presents as brand new um, low engine hours and it's got a fantastic specification um, diesel heating stern thruster bow thruster teak decks um, and a very nice upholstery fit out so uh, yeah lovely boat um, if you'd like any more information on uh, on it as and most importantly the price um, please come to our website argoyachting.com you'll find all the photos the videos the virtual tours everything is there thank you and look forward to hearing from you